other way? Oh, good boy. Thank you. I know. That was a good job. Hi, everybody. Deborah Dickinson here, and I'm back with Rob Wakely to talk to you about some more things on Starlink. We, I've enjoyed reading your comments, and I hope that you enjoyed our previous video on getting set up with Starlink as a nomad. And we have thought of some questions that you might ask, and so we are just making this part two, Starlink as a nomad. And we have, what, five things we want to share with you. So take it away, Rob. So the first one, I get questions all the time. How can I get it? And I put it in an order and it tells me, you know, I'll see you in 2023 or something like that. How can I get it faster? Yeah. And there actually is a way and I found out about it by accident. Oh, good. It, it turns out that when you apply for it, you input the service address and your shipping address separately. Ah. And whether or not you can get it right away is determined by the service address. So if you put it in an address where there's service and openings, it's going to, instead of asking you for like a $99 deposit and see you later, it's going to say, we'll ship it right now, pay in full. So the trick is to put in a service address that you get that response. In other words, it means that there's an open cell and there's an open. So you need to do a little research. You need to do a little research yeah. and then you can ship it. They'll ship it anywhere you want. Yeah, it doesn't now, have to be the service address you put in. Right. Because you had your ship to Quartzsite. Right, I had my my service address was um, Pahrump, but I had just left there to come down here and I wasn't gonna go back to Pahrump anytime yeah. soon. So I said, can you ship it to Quartzsite? They said, sure. Yeah. So that it's only guaranteed service at your address in Pahrump, you're free to try. And as we all know, from, I tried yeah, and I was successful. Yeah, from the last video, he got that to work. But that's a way to get it quicker. Okay. Isn't that exciting? That is awesome. Yeah. All right, but what about the equipment? The equipment, people ask, what's the equipment? Well, it's a satellite dish. The ones you're used to probably seeing are round on the internet, yeah. um, but the new ones are square. They're ah, smaller, okay. they're lighter. Yeah, they're smaller and, the, <laughs> and lighter. And it's connected through a um, an ether, power over ethernet cord and to a little router. It's real small, white, simple looking. And that's it, that's all the equipment. People also ask me, hey, if I'm gonna, can I, put that thing permanently on my rig, on my trailer. I was like, you know, you probably could, but I wouldn't. Okay. And to, to me, it seems delicate and I wouldn't want to hurt it. So I always stow it and I put it up when I get to camp. Okay, so pretty much like our jet packs. I mean, you can put, 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 put them in a permanent location, but most of us just get them out when we're gonna use them and then put them back yeah. up. I have a pole mount that I put mine on and I just stick it on top of a pole, tighten it down, run the wire through my kitchen window and I'm I'm ready to go. That is awesome. Now did all of that equipment come with your purchase? And the pricing is in the first video, so y'all go back and watch it that. It is, but the interesting omission that they made with the new one is there's no ethernet port. Oh. And you know, with the old one, I, there was an ethernet port, you could hook that to your own router. Um, it's available, but it's an adapter that you have to order separately. And what I'm hearing, not experiencing, but hearing is they're on back order and you can't get them right away. So okay. you would have to order that separately. So you had to order yours separately. And also the pole mount, they come with a stand you can put on the ground, but the pole mount was separate. I ordered that separately as well. And did you order both the pole mount and the ethernet port I, through Amazon? No, no, no. It's through Starlink. Through you can Starlink. All, okay. It's all through Starlink. I didn't order the Ethernet because I, I don't feel like I need it right now. Okay. I'll probably get that eventually, but I got the pull. It came about a week after the dish. But stuff I've read in the news is Elon Musk had a tweet or a Twitter or whatever that is. That, a tweet on Twitter, a Rob. Tweet, a tweet yes. on Twitter. Okay. That um, the new satellites communicate laser to, uh, with laser with each other instead of depending on the ground stations. And he said that um, those have been deployed, they're going into their fixed orbits and turning those on is imminent. And it's my guess, in underlying guess, that that's gonna mean faster speeds yeah. and more areas open when those lasers get turned on with those new satellites. So yeah. that, that's an exciting possibility. Which means finding movable cells that we talked about in the first yes. video yes. even easier. Yeah, that's so, our hope. There you go. So there are some questions already answered and we appreciate everybody's comments. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments below 
and he'll use his fancy dancy Starlink connection to answer them. Thank you, Rob. Can you think of anything else right I, now? I think that's it, but I bet your viewers are going to have lots of good questions we haven't thought of. Oh, I bet you they are. They always do, don't they? They do, and I look forward to seeing them. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you down the road. Keep on keeping on. See you down the road.